Now, crawling around in not only soil environments, but of course we're very familiar with these from our homes, are termites. And the termites are a terrific source of microbial diversity and one that's becoming an increasingly important microenvironment in which to look because of our desire to understand uh, microbial processes that might be harnessed for lignocellulose degradation, again out of a need to develop alternative sources of energy. Now a colleague of mine, Professor Jared Ledbetter at Caltech, studies these termites and he likes to call them an ecosystem in a microliter. And I think this is really a fantastic description of them because it's within their hindgut that you find a zoo of microorganisms and protozoa that are swimming around doing all sorts of important activities that make it possible for the termites to, di to digest their wood. And in the process they emit methane and not an insignificant fraction of this methane ultimately makes its way up into the atmosphere and contributes uh, to the overall chemistry on the planet. So speaking of methanogens, here you see a dramatic illustration of them at work. This image that I'm standing in front of is taken from Cedar Swamp in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. And it's an image of a group of students from the microbial diversity class, which is a fantastic course for about 20 students half from the United States and half from overseas, who come together every summer to understand how microorganisms are able to perform these various metabolic activities that I've been describing in these lectures. And what you can see here is that the students have gone waist deep into this swamp and they've stomped around and as they've done this they've collected the bubbles that come up as they stomp the sediment and collected them in these inverted funnels. And then some brave individual holds that funnel and removes their hand just at the moment when a friend comes by with a flame and ignites it. And here you see a lovely illustration of methane at work. So methanogenesis led to the creation of the methane gas that was ignited here. Now, in the past, the activity of these organisms that generate this methane that are called methanogens might have been important in shaping the chemistry of the Earth's environment. And the reason we suspect this may be the case is because early in Earth history, the environment contained appreciably more methane than it does today.